Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, amma ba'da habata fillah. What happened in France, as was what has happened around the world in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Yemen, the U.S., all around the world, when we see the activity of one of the most evil of organizations, one of the most evil of organizations, a Daesh or ISIS, and other Tekfiti, jihadi, meaning that they don't wage and understand the true Islamic meaning of jihad with its conditions and the wabit or criterion that these groups, these innovated muqtadiya that they fit the profile of one of the first sects in Islam known as the Khawarij and they were a people who fought the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they made takfir of them. They claimed they did not rule by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. They claim this about the Sahaba, the best of the ulama, the best of creation after the Anbiya. This is what those, the Khawarij, did. And what we see today is. Cowards like Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the treasonous coward who claims Islam, and we don't really know much about him, if he's even Muslim or not, that such a wicked Mubtadiya loves to sow discord around the earth. But as we see, at the hands of their very enemies, they were beaten into almost submission, almost to nothingness. And they had to resort to the weakest of cowardice tactics. He urges his followers to stab people with knives, women, children, elderly, the priests and rabbis, other Muslims from all the same categories that are applicable. It doesn't matter. The main thing is, is his love and his hate is based upon his desires and his wicked, sinful, muqtadiyah group. And with that being the case, we have to be vigilant. That we as Muslims, we have to be vigilant in denouncing their evil understanding their evil because so many Muslims, secular Muslims will, if some of them are even Muslim, will claim that they are Salafi or that they are following the Salaf or that they are following a traditional way that goes to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this is false in battle and so it's up to Ahl Sunnah to represent, to articulate, to cut off the heads every time we hear these weak doubts and address it with the people of bid'ah and the people of ignorance. And so we strongly denounce what happened there and what's happening around the world and we'll continue to fight it by adhering and propagating the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam according to the Madhab of the Salaf not the Madhab of the Khawarij nor the other Takfiri deviant groups and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa Alaihi Wasallam